try this one. Okay, so see how they're vibrating on the surface here? That's purely because this here is oscillating three times a second for the main okay? So, yeah. so you can actually run through a hole and as you bring it close and feel the strength of it. There's a few other magnets here you can actually try. So it's essentially it's, the fields are actually coming out of the actual, of the actual electromagnet here. Yeah. They're photon cuts, okay? Electromagnetic you know, radiation. And the point is this trend is being transmitted across space. Now, I can reason that little thing here. Okay, so this here is a bit of wire wrapped around in a closed loop with a globe on it. Nothing as you can see is happening here. On the outside, nothing. Doesn't really care. If I do this over the center, what do you think is gonna happen? Yep. So you can see the intensity of the field is getting stronger as you get lower. Okay? Now this core here is iron. Iron's there to increase that here so that will make it feel strong. Okay, without it, it's not so strong. Okay, so it's weak up here. It's obviously zero on the outside. It has to go through the center of this here. You can't, you know, so it has to be linked inside. Okay? And to show that, we have this wire here. Okay? Grab it. Go over the edge. So the more times we link it, the, the larger the current. Each time you put a link on here, there's more current being generated. Okay? So there's more flow being moved around. Okay? So what we can see is there's a relationship between the, in, the actual um, uh, magnetic field strength and current. So as we increase the field strength, so every time we link a more current or sorry, field strength or magnetic field inside it, if you actually can't imagine expanding this in here out, what you actually are thinking about is this whole thing here now is getting linked with multiple cores. Okay? In, in some sense, okay? So Got one cooling off in there. So, as you can see already, uh, we've got magnets are affected by this thing here when we have it on. Okay, you can see that's vibrating. So now, if I put this on, okay, what's happened to this? Why did that fly off? Yeah, but why? What pushes things? Yeah, okay, so lens is law, it is one of the reasons why um, you can't uh, sort of take a magnet next to another conducting surface. It basically creates a mirror image of the actual object, okay? So, yeah, this is actually basically reflecting the magnetic field in here, turning itself into a law or sound, which means that what is actually you know, being generated top here, okay? So, what happens if I put something which is very cold on there instead? It will fly off like you would not. Yep. Why? Because it increased magnetic, magnetic field strength because the domains of the metal line up and yes. increase the magnetic field strength. But why though when it's colder? Because the electron will slow as over there. Well, it's well, essentially it's because it's easier for them to move around through the lattice. There's cold, it's cooled down, and the lattice is actually a lot more solid, and the free path is actually a lot longer. Okay, let me say, they generate a higher current. Induced current is higher. Okay, force is great. Cold. That's cold. Very cold. That's very, very cold. <laughs> Okay. So, but you see there's a big difference between those two there. Okay. So, what happens if we take copper? Copper also conducts a lot better than aluminium, okay? Now, if I've got two rings here, one of them is cut and one of them is not. What do you think is going to happen there? Yep. Okay, because... There's a break on the Yep, exactly. You know, that's it. So, the break, there's no current flowing. Okay, that's the whole point. If we have current flowing, then we have magnetic fields. Okay? So, put this one on and that one on. Okay. They both move, but that's because this one here does nothing, but this one here doesn't flow. Okay? So they've been cut, but you can see here they've been sealed again, this one here. Okay? The problem is in this material. Now, there's There is. Okay, so, if we again put it on. Now, as you saw beforehand, you know, the rings will float because they're being repelled. But if I put this one here, I wonder if it's going to happen. You get traffic towards it, isn't it? Well, what poles attract between magnets? Yep, exactly. So they're actually both a north and a south, and then a north and then a south. Okay, so they're being attracted. They're both being turned in the same type of magnet. Now, if you want to feel that, it comes around. Can you feel that heat? That's the agitation of the electrons on the actual lattice. That's the same thing that happens in a bar heater. Okay? It heats it up by agitating that your situation. Resistivity creating heat. Yep, that's it. Okay, so what we have here is a bar magnet. No, it's just a Yep, that's right. Okay, so what we have here, a magnet. Now, as I'm saying here, this, at this iron core here, it wouldn't be very strong. Okay, this iron core is actually increasing it by about 5,000 times. <laughs> okay, so if I were to take this and put it on top of here, try to lift up, well, I can't really get many of them moving. Can you see that? Some of them are actually trying to be attracted. Yeah. Okay, if I put this in though, get the whole lot. <laughs> 
Okay, so you can see the magnetic field lines are actually stretching out along them, okay? So, it's the iron which is actually increasing the magnetic field strength. The, iron, the magnetic field is still there, but this here, as you were saying about the mains, you know, they all along it, and that's what actually gives an increase in strength, okay? Now, there was a few other things. So, now, we have a bag on underneath here. Gravity is Okay. So what we have is three different types of metals here. Lead, aluminium, copper. Okay. So if we take just the actual lead by itself. So not much is happening, okay, is there? Okay. okay. So if I were to take the aluminium. It stops a bit more quickly, okay? And if I were to take the copper, it stops pretty much straight away. Because again, it's Okay, so magnetic magnet here was dragging the electrons around this copper wire, or around a wire here. Okay. Same thing here. The electrons are trying to be dragged by that magnet. Now, it's not as easy in these metal and so like the lead, aluminium, but it's a lot. This here tends to actually uh, generate more current, has you know, about lower resistance, which means that can actually suck up that. Yep. Now, now, if I take this here, what's going to happen when I use this piece here instead? Now, this is very solid and slip. So you will use Yeah, on here and then on here. Well, yeah, there are cuts. So imagine it like um, if I were to cut this here. I'm cutting the circuit, so in normally the electrons are circulating around as it, as it tries to pull it across. In here, it's going to be cut. So the actual circuit's cut in some sense. Yeah. No electrons can flow, but if I move it... And in fact, I can get this here to move around. Okay. Again, the same thing, it's basically, this is reflecting the magnet here, okay, and that it's going to actually generate a pole inside here, and you can actually, you know, then manipulate it. So that Same. would have serious industrial applications for such as magnetic trains if you'd have a strong enough magnet there and need yep. to track with copper. Yep. You could kind of develop that, you know, the controlled kind of slowdown. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, well that's it. Magnetic braking is definitely um. Before you go, we'll give you one final demonstration. Oh, is that it? Yeah, that's what they've only got two. So I'll show you one more thing. Okay, that's what you were saying. So what we have here is a magnet and a copper tube. What do you think is going to happen? Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's sure. go down. <laughs> oh, if I can get it to go down. <laughs> it's got broken edges. <coughs> nice. 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 Come on, there we go. Okay. Will it, will it ever stop? No. No. Why? My bad. Because based on the strength of the magnet, it's not strong enough. See, now this here is the plain piece of metal. Will you roll that? That's alright. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So you guys.